Ladies and gentlemen, Raila Amolo Dinga was in Muranga County today. And the deputy president, Dr. William Samera Proto, was in Western Kenya today, the Luya Nation. And for those who have been following this channel very closely, I've always opined that two regions, that is the Mount Kenya and the Luya Nation, will determine who becomes the next president of the Republic of Kenya. And again, if you followed the events today, it is clear that Raila Mododinga is now targeting William Ruto's stronghold of the mountain. At the same time, the deputy president, William Ruto, is also targeting Raila Odinga's stronghold of the Luya Nation. And earlier this month, InfoTrack released an opinion poll. And in that opinion poll, Raila Odinga took commanding lead in the race for the presidency. And I analyzed that opinion poll. And I noted that Raila Odinga was gaining in the mountain. And I predicted that William Ruto was going to spend most of his time now in the larger Luya nation. Today, the deputy president covered three regions, I mean three counties in the Luya nation. He began with Vihiga, proceeded to Kakamega, and then Bungoma. Raila Odinga was in Muranga. And for those who follow the politics of this country, immediately Raila Odinga nominated Martha Karua. It was expected that the two, the two, the gentleman and the lady, that's Raila and Martha, were going to embark on a tour of the mountain. What happened was that Martha Karua went alone. The truth of the matter is that the NIS advised Raila Odinga against going with Martha Karua because that was going to reduce the impact of nomination of Martha Karua. So which means the fact that Raila Odinga today went with Martha Karua to Moranga is significant, politically speaking. So in this video today, I want us to look at the objectives of that trip. But before we do that, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. The only request I make, please give this video a thumbs up. Now, let us get back to the main issue. Reino Dinga was in Moranga. And tomorrow, I'll do a critical analysis of William Ruto's trip to the Luyan Nation. Why is focusing on the Luyan Nation? What was the objective of Reino Dinga's trip? To Murana, and accompanied by Martha Karwa. For us to understand all those, let us look at some issues or some facts. Number one, there is always the shadow of Mount Kenya Foundation in Raila Odinga's bid of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya. In fact, the Mount Kenya Foundation played a key role in President Uru Kenyatta acceptance of Raila Molodinga as his choice of the preferred candidate. The truth of the matter is that the Mount Kenya region has been supporting Raila Molodinga, but through the Mount Kenya Foundation. Mount Kenya Foundation is a grouping of tycoons from the larger Mount Kenya region. These tycoons wanted Raila Molodinga to nominate someone from Muranga. And they proposed the name of Peter Kenneth as the preferred choice. Raila Odinga going to Muranga today is significant in that way. Number two, what I can call Peter Kenneth factor. Before Raila Odinga nominated Martha Karua, several names were being floated. Peter Kenneth, Sabina Chege, Peter Munya, 
and others. The truth of the matter is that Jubilee as a political party presented two names for consideration. The name of Peter Kenneth and the name of uh, Sabina Chege. These two are residents of Muranga County. The fact that they were nominated, they were not nominated, is being tested here. So the Peter Kenneth factor is also an issue. Then you go to the other side, number three, Ndindi Nyoro and Aliso Home. Muranga County is the home county to Ndindi Nyoro and Aliso Home. There is no way you can write the history of William Ruto and the takeover of the mountain without a chapter about Aliso Home and Ndindi Nyoro. These two people played a key role for the deputy president. They hosted the DP severely in Moranga. So this trip was also going to test their influence in Moranga. And then, also remember, Moranga is also the home to Tangata Wabarua. <laughs> then, I also noted the presence of Jamlek Kamau. Jamlek Kamau is the Jubilee gubernatorial candidate for Muranga. And according to opinion polls, he's doing so well. He might actually win. Jamlek Kamau has always avoided attending events attended by Red Odinga. For the first time, Jamlek Kamau was present at this particular meeting. So those are some of the issues which we needed to understand before going into the objectives of Raila Odinga trip to Muranga. Muranga County has a total of over 228,000 registered voters. Sorry, 628,000. That's huge. Assuming Raila Odinga was to get 30% of Muranga, 30% of Kiambu, 30% or we'll say 40% or 50% of uh, Kirinyaga, another 40% in uh, Meru. Raila Odinga will be declared the next president of the Republic of Kenya very early in the morning. The other day, the deputy president was accusing President Ruth Kenyatta of using the intelligence report to aid Raila Amol Odinga in his bid of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya. That statement by the DP can actually confirm this particular trip, that this trip has been organized because the NIS is now telling Raila Odinga that the time to go to the mountain with Mapakarwa is now ready. But what were the objectives of this meeting? Number one, the first objective, I think is about Mapakarwa. And I listened to Martha Karwa's speech in uh, one of the rallies. It was purely in Kikuyu. Why do you think Martha Karwa used Kikuyu language in her entire speech? For those who follow politics of this country, Uhuru Kenyatta is known to speak to the Kikuyu nation in Kikuyu language. Anytime Uhuru Kenyatta is speaking to his people in the Kikuyu nation, I mean in the Kikuyu language, know that there's something is passing. And I was asking myself why Martha Karua, who is not known to speak in Kikuyu in most of her rallies, were for the first time passionately speaking to the Kikuyu nation using their Kikuyu language. So I think Martha Karua was being taken to the people of Muranga. And these guys, I'm sure, the intelligence gathered the, the gains and also the weaknesses, which I'm sure they will share with President Rukinyata, who will in, in turn strategize, use it to strategize for Raila Amorodinga. So I, I tend to think that the objective of this trip was to go to the mountain with a pair of Raila and the Mathakaro as the running mate, and then present that ticket to the people of Muranga.
to decide. So that's number one. Number two, the second objective in my view was about taking advantage of the division in Kenya Kwanza. The truth of the matter is that there's serious fallout in Kenya Kwanza. And people like Kabogo, Moses Kuria, Mwangi Kiunjuri are all accusing uh, Rigadi Gashagwa. Which means for Rigadi Gashagwa is his nomination he has created division within Kenya Kwanza. So this is what these guys wanted to take advantage of. So Martha Karwa has been able to rally the entire Azimio Lamoja brigades to campaign for Ailo Dinka. In fact, yesterday I think they were in Meru, accompanied by the governor there, Kiraiti Murungi. She's always been accompanied by Peter Munya. So I tend to think that they wanted to take advantage of the division in Kenya Kwanza, where Moses Korea is, is issuing threats. William Kabogo is saying, okay, we are leaving. If you're not careful, we are starting a new journey. Number three, in my view, I also tend to think that opinion polls are now showing Raila Odinga's rating in the mountain to be going up. So which means this need for Raila Odinga and Martha Karua to go to the people, sell their policies to the people, so that the undecided can now decide to support them. So I also believe very strongly that it's about the opinion polls, which are showing Raila Odinga to be gaining in a big way in uh, the larger Mount Kenya region. And because of uh, those gains, they can now raise strategies. And lastly, I also tend to think that Raila Odinga and Martha Karwa just went there to sell the agenda of Azimio La Umoja to the people of Moranga. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Thank you guys, and please, may you have a good day. Bye-bye.